Today, we consider a sequence of positive real numbers from the EMO shortlist 2022, problem A1. We are given that an plus 1 squared plus an times an plus 2 is less than or equal to an plus an plus 2. And now we are asked to prove that a2022 is less than or equal to 1. We want to do some factorizations and therefore it is a good idea to subtract this product. And we see that if we then subtract a 1 from both sides, that the right side becomes factorizable. So let's try that. We obtain an plus 1 squared minus 1 is less than or equal to minus an an plus 2 plus an plus an plus 2 minus 1. And we can write the right side as minus an minus 1 times an plus 2 minus 1. The left side is now a difference of squares, which is also factorizable as an plus 1 minus 1 times an plus 1 plus 1. Notice that we get an an plus 1 minus 1 on the left, which we would also get on the right side if we replaced n by n plus 1 everywhere. So let's write down that inequality, which is an plus 2 minus 1 times an plus 2 plus 1 is less than or equal to minus an plus 1 minus 1 times an plus 3 minus 1. We want to combine our two inequalities. And since we have a an plus 1 minus 1 here, it is a good idea to multiply the first one with minus an plus 3 minus 1. When multiplying both sides of an inequality with a factor, we have to be careful of its sign. One way to do this in our situation is to restrict ourselves to the case that an plus 3 is less than or equal to 1 or that it is greater than or equal to 1. If minus an plus 3 minus 1 is non-negative, then the sign of this inequality will not change after multiplication. This is good because afterwards we want to bound this quantity on the left hand side from below, which is exactly right. And therefore we now consider the case that we have an plus 3 minus 1 less than or equal to 0. In this case, we thus get that minus an plus 1 minus 1 times an plus 3 minus 1 times an plus 1 plus 1 is less than or equal to an minus 1 times an plus 2 minus 1 times an plus 3 minus 1. Note that an plus 1 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, we can use the fact here that all of this is greater than or equal to an plus 2 minus 1 times an plus 2 plus 1. Now we have an an plus 2 minus 1 on both sides and therefore we want to divide by it. And as before we have to make a choice of a sign. Let's assume that an plus 2 minus 1 is greater than 0. This yields an plus 2 plus 1 times an plus 1 plus 1 is less than or equal to an minus 1 times an plus 3 minus 1. Recall that we assume an plus 3 minus 1 less than or equal to 0. And therefore we can already see that this seems kind of contradictory. The left side is positive. In fact, each factor is greater than 1, so it must also be greater than 1. Thus, the right side must be positive, and so an minus 1 must be negative. Since the ai are positive real numbers, we have an minus 1 greater than negative 1, an plus 3 minus 1 greater than negative 1. And so all of this is less than plus 1, which of course is a contradiction. We conclude that our two assumptions can't be true at the same time. In other words, if the second one is true, the first one must be false. So if we have any integer n, at least 3, because in this case n plus 2 must be greater than or equal to 3, with a n greater than 1, we must also have a n plus 1 greater than 1. At this point, it becomes pretty clear how we want to finish. Namely, there's nothing much special about 2022 except for the fact that it is greater than or equal to 3. We want to show that we can't find an integer m greater than or equal to 3 with a m greater than 1, and otherwise, we would have that all larger integers would have a m prime greater than 1. So, let us assume that we find an m greater than or equal to 3 with the property that am is greater than 1. By induction, all integers n greater than or equal to m must share the same property. The left side of our inequality has positive terms of degree 2, and it should be less than or equal to the right side that is linear. This is unlikely for large values of ai. 
Now we know that for all n greater than or equal to m, a n is greater than 1, which we want to use to get a contradiction. We can use this to write that for all n greater than or equal to m, we have a n plus 1 squared is less than or equal to a n plus a n plus 2 minus a n a n plus 2. Since a n and a n plus 2 are greater than 1, this product is greater than a n and greater than a n plus 2. In other words, all of this is less than a n plus a n plus 2 minus their maximum. Of course, all of this is equal to the minimum of a n and a n plus 2. A nice conclusion from all of this is that the right side is also greater than a n plus 1 since a n plus 1 is greater than 1. This is enough to get to a contradiction because we obtain a n plus 1 less than a n plus 2 by applying this inequality at m. And a n plus 2 must also be less than a n plus 1, which we get by applying this inequality at m plus 1. Therefore, our assumption was wrong, and we obtain that a2022 is less than or equal to 1, and therefore we are done.